Ramzan Kadyrov, leader of the Russian region of Chechnya, said in an interview aired on Monday that Russia would achieve its goals in Ukraine by the end of the year and it would be wrong to negotiate with President Volodymyr Zelensky. Kadyrov's forces have played a prominent role in the war in Ukraine since Russia invaded almost a year ago, and he has forged an informal alliance with the increasingly prominent Wagner militia chief Yevgeny Prigozhin and other nationalist hardliners who back the war. In an interview broadcast on state television's flagship Rossiya One channel, he said Russia had the forces to take the capital Kyiv, from which it was driven back in the early weeks of the war, and that it needed to capture Ukraine's second city Kharkiv and its main port, Odessa. I believe that, by the end of the year, we will 100% complete the task set for us today, Katerov said. With neither side prepared for concessions, there has appeared to be little prospect of peace talks since the early months of the war. Nevertheless, Katerov told interviewer Olga Skabeyeva, who hosts a stridently pro-war chat show, if we sit down at the negotiating table with Zelensky, yes, I think that's wrong. Katerov is a former Chechen separatist fighter who switched sides in the late 1990s, joining the pro-Russian administration in the rest of Caucasus region along with his wider family. His father was assassinated by pro-independence militants in 2004, and Russian President Vladimir Putin personally installed him as leader of Chechnya in 2007. Chechnya's leader Ramzan Kadyrov claims Russia should reoccupy East Germany, a literal pledge to completely undo NATO's eastward expansion. Germany's foreign minister says she expects all NATO member states to ratify Finland's and Sweden's bids to join the alliance, without further delay. The accession of the two Nordic countries would strengthen the alliance as a whole, Annalena Baerbock said at a news conference in Helsinki with her Finnish counterpart, Pekka Havisto. Sweden and Finland sought NATO membership shortly after Russia's invasion of Ukraine last year and have said they want to join, hand in hand. For a new country to join the alliance, the unanimous approval of its 30 existing members is required. Turkey and Hungary have yet to back Sweden's and Finland's memberships.